As the Vietnam War reached a crossroads, the U.S. Army had important decisions to make if they wanted to tip the scale back to their side. All options were on the table, both conventional and unconventional. And among the most unusual plots was Operation Popeye, launched in an attempt to weaken the Ho Chi Minh Trail, the Viet Cong's most vital mechanism and supply flow tool. To accomplish this, the U.S. would turn the weather into a weapon of war. Operation Popeye utilized cloud seeding technology, a type of weather modification that artificially creates rain or snow. With it, the U.S. military extended at least five monsoon seasons, causing detrimental effects to the unknowing Vietnamese citizens and soldiers. The mission spanned five years and cost taxpayers over $15 million. Despite multiple hearings in Congress, military officers and even President Nixon himself denied it existing at all. The Vietnam War was, for many reasons, unlike any other war American soldiers had ever seen. Instead of a standard campaign front line, where the American army had more than enough experience, the Vietnam War's battles were fought in the dense South Vietnam jungle. This was an isolated region filled with mountains, animals, and endless greenery. The Viet Cong's most significant advantage over the U.S. in this region was the Ho Chi Minh Trail, a logistics network made up of dirt pads and hand-dug tunnels. It had secret bunkers, barracks, and even a few hospitals. All were cleverly hidden from American aircraft looking for them in reconnaissance missions. With its extensive web of roads and handmade pads, the trail helped the Viet Cong carry massive amounts of manpower, weapons, food, and other war material from one side of the country to the other. At over a thousand miles in length, the trail ran from north to south Vietnam and extended through the kingdoms of Laos and Cambodia. The U.S. military attempted to destroy the trail with never-ending bombing campaigns. More bombs were dropped on Laos than in Germany and Japan combined in World War II none of the tactics were entirely effective. Even Agent Orange wasn't up to the task. The trail network was so vast and complex that if one of the paths were closed, all Viet Cong soldiers had to do was find a secondary way back to their base. But there was one thing that significantly slowed the supply flow on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Rain turned the trails into muddy messes, rendering them too difficult to supply vehicles to maneuver. Vietnam is known for having one of the world's longest monsoon seasons, usually running from April to October. June, July, and August are the months with the heaviest rain. And so the Department of Defense decided to attempt to recreate this process. Their goal was to try to control the weather and extend the monsoon season for as long as they could. To achieve this, they resorted to cloud seeding. This process is thought to have originated in 1946 by Vincent Schaefer, a chemist employed by General Electric. Cloud seeding is a method for artificially producing rain or snow. It requires modifying a cloud's chemical structure to boost the chances of precipitation with the added substance of silver iodide, which works as a condensation agent. There are two ways to disperse cloud seeding agents, either using large cannons to shoot the particles into the sky or using airplanes to drop the particles from above. Throughout the planning period, the program went by several names to maintain its secrecy. Operation Popeye ended up being its official name. In a memorandum sent in January 1967 from Deputy Undersecretary of State for Political Affairs Foy D. Kohler to then Secretary of State Dean Rusk, Kohler described Project Popeye's goals, stating, quote, The objective is to inhibit overland vehicular movement and to reinforce the bottlenecks already created at stream crossings by the bombing of bridges and ferry installations. With respect to Laos, the objective is to extend rainfall through the dry season, keeping the ground as near the saturation point as possible and obstructing traffic that normally forwards streams during the low water period. By generating rain, 
the American army would slow the Viet Cong's truck traffic, impairing the supply flow throughout the trail and leaving them more susceptible to other attacks. Kohler also believed that cloud seeding was relatively more ethical than common warfare, stating, quote, With respect to North Vietnam, we believe that as an interdiction measure, Popeye operations would be less harmful to the population and area affected than bombing. For Operation Popeye to be successful, it had to be carried out with the utmost secrecy. If information about America playing God and controlling the weather came out, there might be speculation about man-made alterations in other climatic anomalies they had no connection with. However, American planners were also convinced that their intervention on the weather would inevitably be discovered. According to Deputy Undersecretary Kohler's memo, quote, In the first place, the altered weather will be observable, in contrast to the experimental phase conducted during normally rainy periods. Disclosure of planned weather experiments in India would make it likely that the connection would become apparent. Secondly, the possibility of a U.S. seating aircraft being downed cannot be discounted. Thirdly, there is virtually no aspect of military operations in Southeast Asia which has not over time become the subject of leaks, or at least of speculation in the press. Operation Popeye is thought to be the first known successful application of weather control technology in warfare. The first flight of the operation took off on March 20th, 1967. A total of 2,602 flights were made in five monsoon seasons, from March to November. The 54th Weather Reconnaissance Squadron executed the cloud seeding procedure using the slogan, Make Mud, Not War. Within their squadron, the operation was codenamed Motor Pool. Three Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft and two McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom aircraft based at Udon Thani Royal Thai Air Force Base were altered and fitted with silver iodide ejectors. The five cloud seeding jets had the standard Southeast Asia camouflage colors and markings, but no unit identifiers, likely because the operation was top secret. The squadron flew two rainmaking operations per day, while also generating report data, which they presented to their superiors. The flights were officially logged in as standard weather reconnaissance flights. The Viet Cong would not know where the rain was coming from. The initial range of operations for Popeye was the eastern half of the Laotian Panhandle. Four months after the first official flight, the area of intervention was increased towards North Vietnam. In September 1967, the Ashra Valley in South Vietnam was also added to the mix. As bomb operations over North Vietnam expanded, that area was eliminated from the list on April 1st, 1968. Likewise, the southern region of North Vietnam became part of the operational site for only a couple of months. In 1972, northeastern Cambodia was added to the operational zone. A total of 47,409 units of cloud seed cartridges were expended. The operation's details were so secret that the soldiers who got selected to participate were usually kept in the dark until the last minute. Everyone had their own theory about what Operation Popeye was really about. Soldier Howard Kibble said, quote, I had fleeting thoughts of flying over China, working for the CIA, you name it. But I signed a statement and found out that I was going to make rain. Geez, I thought they were kidding. Ethical and environmental concerns for Operation Popeye's downfall. An article in the Washington Post in 1971 by reporter Jack Anderson revealed that the U.S. was engaged in clandestine weather weaponization in Vietnam. The information was corroborated by the Pentagon Papers leak released by Daniel Ellsberg. The following year, in July of 1972, journalist Seymour Hersh reported in the New York Times about Operation Popeye using the headline, Rainmaking is Used as a Weapon by the U.S. The article describes how some officials opposed the radical idea and even doubted its effectiveness due to the unknown long-term consequences, stating, quote, 
Despite years of experiments with rainmaking in the U.S. and elsewhere, scientists are not sure they understand its long-term effect on the ecology of a region. A few days after the story's publication, the entire program was officially ended, and all cloud seeding missions stopped. Silver iodide, a material used in cloud seeding condensation, is known to be toxic to aquatic life. So when used in the long term, precipitation from seeded clouds could harm the environment. The news caught the eye of Democratic Senator Claiborne Pell, who demanded to have the specifications of Operation Popeye officially declassified and released to the public. As one of the leaders of the operation, Lieutenant Harry Edward Soyster was asked to testify in front of the Committee on Foreign Relations. He told them everything he knew. The cost of Operation Popeye was about $3.6 million per year, which included the operation and maintenance of the modified jets, purchase of seating materials, and pay for the people involved in the project. The timing of all these public announcements did not work out well for the Department of Defense. In 1972, the environmental boom in America was burgeoning. In addition, the Nixon administration was already struggling with the beginning stages of the infamous Watergate scandal. When the public, especially environmental activists, found out that America had secretly been playing God and altering the weather in Vietnam, they were outraged. The operations were dubbed the Watergate of weather warfare. Operation Popeye was officially terminated on July 5, 1972. In 1977, the U.S. joined the Environmental Modification Convention Treaty, or ENMOD, an international treaty which formally banned weather modification for malicious purposes. The agreement banned causing earthquakes and tsunamis, steering hurricanes, or tampering with the ionosphere. It also prohibited any kind of severe damage to the environment. Since cloud seeding has never been used in warfare again, the results cannot be measured or compared. Author James Roger Fleming agreed, stating, quote, Although some claim that Operation Popeye induced from one to seven inches of additional rainfall annually along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, no scientific data were collected to verify the claim. Even if Operation Popeye did help a few U.S. victories in Vietnam, a fact that is impossible to determine, its extreme secrecy and denials by the military and the government resulted in a significant strategic defeat for climatic modification with military purposes.